Good evening, everybody. Got an update on my Millwright Mega V XL CNC. I've updated to a Pone CNC 1.5 65mm spindle with the VFD. And I just upgraded the controller from Millwright with a 24 volt power supply and a black box. And I've also got the interface connected. Now I can do standalone. There is no PC connection. And I just use that to flash the firmware on the controller. Uh, all of the switches um, for the, in the stops are connected. And then the steppers are all wired in to the back of the black box. And the only other thing I'm going to add is a door connection. I've got a uh, control board here. This piece. So what it's going to do is it'll have three wires in. And I'll be able to do a pause and run. And then it'll connect to the door switch on the black box. Which actually pauses the CNC. So I can do a three button or a two button pause run switch here on the front. But I do have the VFD connected up, and the black box puts out 10 volts, which is what it needs. So on here, we go to Tools. You can see that it says Spindle on and off. I'm going to go ahead and spin along. And we spin up to 24,000 RPM. And get back there in here. Back off. So now I can control it from the interface and also code it into the, the Kerbal G code. But if you have any questions, just post them below. The upgrade took about two hours, and that was removing the 48 volt power supply, the step controllers, pretty much everything on the inside got gutted, and I just used the existing airplane connectors in the back to connect up to the black box. Like I said, it's a simple install. I did bump the output for the Y and the Y2 stepper um, on the black box to give it a little more current and also slowed down the acceleration and the speed and it's doing fine. It's not missing any steps. But I'll have some projects going shortly. Please like and subscribe and thank you for watching.